the vehicle and saved my life. I mm. Tonight on Eyewitness News Exclusive, a Delaware man suffered a massive heart attack while on the Upper West Side. But tonight he's alive and well, and he is thanking the two police officers and the doctors who saved him. Yeah, Bill Stevenson says he got a second chance, and now he is making it his mission to get a piece of life saving equipment in every police car. Eyewitness News reporter Rob Nelson has the story. 70 year old Bill Stevenson from Delaware was working here in New York City last Wednesday when a major heart attack left him lying on the sidewalk on West 106th Street. I was truly down and purple. When Bill had his heart attack right here, he was surrounded though by guardian angels, not just one of his good friends who he was traveling with who performed CPR, but also a doctor who just happened to be nearby who performed CPR as well. And before paramedics got here, two NYPD officers showed up with a defibrillator in their patrol car, a device that everyone in this case agrees saved Bill's life. This morning, Bill, with two new stints in place, was reunited with those two NYPD officers outside his hospital room at Mount Sinai. Bill's case was actually the first time the officers had used a defibrillator other than during training, a device that essentially shocks the heart back to life. Everybody was at the right place at the right time. I think the training kicks in at that moment. You just know instantly what you have to do. It's a terrific feeling. It's just um, a couple of days later just seeing him, it was a great feeling. After this medical crisis, four days in a coma, Bill is now focused on making sure police cars everywhere have these potentially life-saving defibrillators. Each NYT precinct now has at least six of them with about 22,000 members already trained. They've been used 40 times just this year in the city. They should be in every police car. They should be in every restaurant. He benefited the most from the immediate team that saved his life in the field. Bill is now headed back home in the next day or two with a better heart and a new mission.